Hi my dear children welcome back to a max class today we are going to start the next chapter that is chapter 9 how much of 100 let's start our today's class see the ad of a shop here a grand sale is going on and there is 10 rupees off on every 100 rupees the table shows the original price of some of the things in this shop calculate the new price 10 rupees off means there is a reduction of 10 rupees for every 100 rupees for computing the reduction in price we have to first of all find out how many hundreds are there in the original price and then multiply it by 10 let's do it here first item is the fan the original price of a fan is equal to 1200 rupees now find out how many hundreds are there in 1200 1200 is equal to 12 hundreds therefore the reduction in price is equal to 12 into 10 that is equal to 120 rupees or we shall find out the reduction in price by doing both the operations together that is reduction in price is equal to 1200 by 100 into 10 now cancel the two zeros from both the numerator and the denominator after cancelling the zeros we got 12 into 10 that is equal to 120 rupees therefore the reduction in price is equal to 120 rupees now we have to find out the new price of the fan that is equal to 1200 Minus one hundred twenty. That is equal to one thousand eighty rupees. Next item is the clock. The original price of a clock is equal to five hundred rupees, and the reduction in price is equal to five hundred by hundred into ten. Now cancel the zeros. After cancelling the zeros from both the numerator and the denominator, we got the reduction in price as. 5 into 10 that is equal to 50 rupees therefore the new price of a fan is equal to 500 minus 50 that is equal to 450 rupees next item is the iron the original price of an iron is equal to 800 rupees the reduction in price is equal to 800 by 100 into 10 after cancelling the zeros from both the numerator and the denominator we got the reduction in price as 8 into 10 that is equal to 80 rupees therefore the new price of an iron is equal to 800 minus 80 that is equal to 720 rupees is it clear for you children next item is the cfl bulb the original price of a cfl bulb is equal to 250 rupees therefore the reduction in price is equal to 250 by 100 into 10 after cancelling the zeros from both the numerator and the denominator we got 25 into 1 that is equal to 25 therefore the new price of a cfl bulb is equal to 250 minus 25 that is equal to 225 rupees next item is a cooker the original price of a cooker is equal to 1400 rupees and the reduction in price is equal to 1400 by 100 into 10 after cancelling the zeros we got 14 into 10 that is equal to 140 rupees therefore The new price of a cooker is equal to 1400 minus 140 that is equal to 1260 rupees. Is it clear for you? The last item is the mixer. The original price of a mixer is equal to 2500 rupees. The reduction in price is equal to 2500 by 100 into 10. After cancelling the zeros, 
we got 25 into 10 that is equal to 250 rupees. Therefore, the new price of a mixer is equal to 2500 minus 250 that is equal to 2250 rupees. Is it clear for you children? In this activity, we had found out that the reduction price is 10 rupees for each 100 rupees. We can say that it is 10% reduction price. 10% is written like this. In this chapter, we are going to learn about percentage. The word per means for each and sen means 100. Percentage means the given part or amount in every 100. It is a fraction with 100 as the denominator and is represented by this symbol. Is it clear for you children? That's all for today children. We shall discuss about more activities on percentage on the next day. Okay, thank you.